all right so what's up guys welcome back to the walking dead season one episode three i think it's pretty safe to say that the last episode episode two was probably one of the craziest and most disturbing episodes in this game so far i mean we thought we found shelter we thought we found a good set of people we thought we might hey probably even survive but of course that they turned out to be fucking human eating individuals that were not zombies so of course in this world where zombies rule it all the worst thing is ironically not zombies it's actually humans fortunately for us our entire group managed to escape without dying except for lily's father larry and i'm sorry to say this but i i kind of felt bad for him kind of sort of at the end there but i really didn't care for him much although he was a good character but as an individual he was an asshole okay that's all i'm saying anyways welcome back i hope you enjoy it and let's begin with episode three part one Episode three, long road ahead. Looks like this is our lucky day. Well, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. True. I feel like this is kind of like where Lee's parents uh, corner drugstore was probably around the same block. Oh, Maybe not. Man. You made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. I'm not going to say anything to that. Sometimes again, Fine. it's better to I'll just take that as a yes. Then I swear, Lee, I'd be on my boat this goddamn minute if I didn't think splitting up <laughs> was suicide. That's what they thought in the show Fear the Walking Dead. Remember the prequel to The Walking Dead? I think it was like in the first season they went into this like okay, crazy yeah, like last uh, over the rig, yacht, the and they all fucking died. Together, supplies or at least left. most of them did. The water is dangerous, man. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> You never know. What if these zombies are like professional fucking Olympic gold medalist swimmers? Shit. You could you be okay? fucking the screwed. Coming loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not <laughs> sure how many more trips we've got in us. It's not like they can no drown. Kidding. That's the thing about zombies. They can't drown, man. Lee, I know you want to go where you want to go. But if I'm being honest, we're not going anywhere. Okay? All right. I'm going to look at all these things here. Debris, debris. There's no safe way through that mess. All right, we have windows. Fallen concrete. Hmm. Looks like there's some sort of a uh, airplane that crashed into this. Yeah, we got a sign. Cover its prescription. Look at the helicopter. So much for the military. It was a military helicopter. Okay. We got a barrel here. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. I know there's something to do with this car. Okay, so I can probably. Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. Oh no shit! There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. All right, so I'm guessing we attach this to the truck. I honestly don't remember this part. I remember this, but I don't even remember what actually happens. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, The ladder. No, oh, we can't climb the ladder. Okay, so now we're just going to get in this truck or this Jeep. Oh, the winch. Okay, there we go. 
Maybe it'll pull the truck. The girl's still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week. I hope not. I haven't asked. I wouldn't blame her. Uh. I haven't asked. You even talk to that girl anymore? Wait, what girl is he talking about? Is he talking about Clementine? And let's be realistic here. You're gonna tell me that it make noise? I mean, that was pretty fucking loud. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him. Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh my god. Fucking crap. Thanks, Kenny. Thanks very much, you know? Jesus. Are you okay? No, dick. I'm shot. No, get ah! off here. Fuck off, asshole. You're the one that dropped me. Oh my oh god. god. Oh god. What the, what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, it doesn't matter. We must keep moving. It's a girl. She's going to get us killed. It's a girl. We have to help. Oh, please. It doesn't matter. We got to keep moving. Let's just leave her. Let's think about this. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got to go. Fuck. Got to shoot her. Put her out of this mess. You know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Very, Very smart. Very smart. Ones we can't see. Genius. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Dude, that woman can scream. Holy shit! I would not want to see her in bed. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. I. I, I don't want to call any attraction over here. We got a mission, and that's uh, help our group. I know that sounds kind of selfish, but you're already fucking dead. You. You've got your ankle bit. God knows what else. But I've never understood is how can people not outrun zombies? <laughs> they are literally like the slowest living organisms on planet Earth. I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. I mean, they're fucking slow. Just one of those things that never made sense to me. Like, okay, well, all right, sure. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Do that. Chick is annoying. The this time. Oh. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Ah, uh, so I guess, uh, get the supplies that we need. What do we have here? We have a uh, medicine box. Take this. Supplies. Okay, you have collected seven items. She's gone. There's not much time now. Oh my god. Okay, let me get this. Which I don't know why I didn't get it earlier. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Okay, keep on collecting. Keep on collecting. Keep on collecting. Uh, anything else in here? Okay, your backpack has lots of supplies. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! Up and over. All right, let's get out of here. Still clear. Let's hustle. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Kenny, help me! I'm gonna get eaten by zombies! Can you imagine if Kenny just left them and then the game ends? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Hmm. Now, let's 
fucking get out. Oh, at least he kind of helped me out, you know. I appreciate that. Kenny, you're a real pal. Okay, what the fuck? Are you? Oh god. He's got a helmet on. That does nothing to him. Holy fuck, Kenny! Shoot his ass! It's too fucking early for this shit. Oh, nice one. That still doesn't kill him. It's gotta be in the head. Remember, Lee? This guy Kenny's got the slickest mouth, man. Sometimes I wish I could just punch him right on his trap. He's been like that ever, ever every single episode. He's just like the slick character. Like I like him as a character a lot, but fuck, man. Sometimes I just want to kick his ass. You know? Okay, so this is the motel. Because remember, we left the um, we left the uh, the farm, which is where these other dudes were. So we came back over here. And at the end of the last episode, if you remember, that crazy lady that took Clementine's hat, she said that we'd always be safe as long as the dairy was giving the bandits food. And the dairy is closed because we killed them. I found some stickers in a drawer, so, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea, that's neat. I'll find you in a minute. <laughs> yeah, Lee is such a good father. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. <laughs> so, what did you get? Nothing. What was left? A lot of stuff. Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Oh, Why God. It here we go. You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. What about medicine? What about medicine? Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. <laughs> Your pal. Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Hmm. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, hmm. Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. I just left her with the backpack with all the supplies, by the way. Yeah, this bitch is going crazy. <sighs> it's not going to say anything. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. 
I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Maybe I should have picked uh, she'll get over it. It's kind of hard because you got to like pick between sides and then like, I don't know. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. I like Thanks. this chick. She's awesome. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Hmm. Okay, let's talk, baby. Come on, girl. Talk to your man. You want it? I know you want some of this sugar, sugar. Okay, I'm going to stop. Guys, just relax. It's uh, just for shits and giggles. Let's talk to Lily here. Let's see this crazy ass lady. What's wrong with her? Lily, just relax. I know your dad died and you're sad, but you need to come to you need to come to senses here, okay? Everything's gonna be you don't okay. Have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? Yeah, to chill out or you come uh you're coming unhinged, I'm following up. What the I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. <laughs> oh, God. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off, and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. It's a shame that she becomes a such an evil bitch. In the Jesus last season, Doc. she becomes really I'm bad. Sorry? Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. <laughs> can I help? What did I just say? You're the greatest detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. I have a feeling that decision might... Might cause some tension between Kenny and and Lee. Who knows? Maybe Doug says something, you know, just randomly to Kenny and then Kenny starts getting pissed off because we're using his kid for whatever reason. You guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot though. By the broken ice machine, or broken glass by the ice machine. Hey, you two, how are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. <laughs> That's horrible. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. But we need them. There's no doubt about that. 
You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you later. I oftentimes think, uh, oftentimes I think, damn, you know what? You know, Larry was a dick. Lily's just overreacting. But then I think to myself, like, just put it like this. Imagine, just imagine if Larry was your father or your mother or whatever. And, and that happened. It doesn't matter. You would want to kill. It, it, it doesn't matter who Kenny is or he just killed that lady's poor father. You know, even though he was an asshole. Me being her, I agree with her 100%. Like, I would fucking hate Kenny. This is definitely matching. X marks the spot, or so they say. Chalk X. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Doc. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Could it be Clem? He's got pink chalk. Hmm. I honestly have no memory of this. Let me talk to, to Ben over here. If he knows anything about the pink hey, chalk. Hey, Ben, I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. <laughs> I've got my, well, my thoughts. And I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. I would be so scared to be watched. Like, think about it. He's above the entire facility. He's even above the walls. Some of those bandits could just, I don't know, probably shoot him in the face or something. I'd personally be scared. Hey, Clementine. We got all of our Clem. Hey, Lee. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. So it wasn't Clem. You want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. <laughs> this guy, bro. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> All right, let's see. Do we give him the high five? Sure, why not? Cool. Duck thinks you're incredibly awesome. Okay, so... You know what, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and finish my talk here with Clem. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. Now that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Alright. 
So we're gonna go upstairs and talk to this girl. And then we'll probably interact with Duck. I don't want to go outside just in case. Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. <laughs> I think about you too. <laughs> oh yeah, girl, come here. Our group is small. You're small. Whoa. Lee, don't don't You're a convicted uh, killer. Don't break her now. Jesus. Come on now. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone. But think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. <sighs> You're probably, You're right. probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Thanks, Carly. Oh, damn, girl. Don't call me small. Girl, I'll break your hand. You don't play with me, girl. My name is Lee yeah. Everett, is and I'm a savage. Is want to talk about? <laughs> yeah. Do you feel safe here? Do you have any chalk and bar? Do you think people are ready to hear about me? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise uh. apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Do you have any uh, chalk I can borrow? What, Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any? No. Why would I? Hey. You uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm going to oh. look into this thing. Good idea. Oh. Okay, so... We're gonna have to tell. I don't even know if I should tell Clem. If I tell, Hi guys. If I tell Kenny and his wife. Uh, have you seen any chalk around? <clears throat> have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, she says she's missing a piece of it. Well, I don't know anything about that. Sorry, Lee. Okay, I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna tell her Can I talk to you first. I feel like sure. I feel like she might Is take it okay? easier than Kenny, and then depending on how she reacts, reacts, then I'll tell Kenny. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I was uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked <clears throat> at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you uh, knew I was a convicted fella. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, oh, plenty, God. but it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife. Uh, That's were... enough. <laughs> oh, fuck. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He oh. smashed his head in. <gasps> oh, fuck. I don't know if that's good. Gotcha. Everything keeps changing. Oh, that didn't go good. 
Shit. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. We're gonna speak to Kenny. Yeah? What do you got? Fuck it. Dude, if I was in this scenario and I and I had my kid there, I, I'd be hugging my son it's all serious. day. Okay. Fuck. Should I sit down? Come on. All right, uh, Kenny. Uh, I'm... I was uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. Wasn't mm -hmm. for touching mm -hmm. kids, was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> then he probably doesn't care. <laughs> I killed a guy in a fight. Should I be worried there's anything else in your past that's gonna come out? No. You didn't Good. think of that bad. But you should know. If we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. <clears throat> come on, Kenny. Come on, Kenny. We're pals. I think I think that's that's okay. I don't even think I need to tell Clementine. Let me see what happens when you tell Clementine. Let's see. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Huh. Okie dokie. <clears throat> the day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car. And I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Well, I was being honest. You understand? Okay. I think I, I, I think I'm good. I don't have to tell anybody else. Ben, he doesn't even count. <laughs> All right, let's see. Got our first clue here. Somebody was over here too. See, I did good, huh? Yeah, duck, you did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time, seriously. Okay. All right, let's go and investigate. Guess push this dumpster out of the way. All right, Duck, I'll be right back, and uh, don't you, don't you do anything. Okay, I don't have to use the gate right now. Oh, wait, wait what? That did not happen, okay? That that was just a mistake. Nothing happened. We have a secret <laughs> air conditioner. Whoa, the supply. <laughs> That's right, dude. There's so many things that when you don't play these games for a long time, you just forget about. So much detail. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? Mm -hmm. You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Y'all better get your ass out here! We ain't fucking around! The bandits. What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, asshole. Take it easy. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking gun! Why? Because we gotta! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. Got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. And shut up, bro. Christ! Oh, shit! 
Please. Uh, oh, god damn. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, you fucking escaped. Oh, my god. Get back there. Smoke him out. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Oh shit! Get those bastards. God damn it, Ben! Get him to the RV! Oh my god, alright, push left, uh, right on the left to peek back and forth. Nice. Got one. Oh fuck. Oh, we gotta be careful here. What? All right, now, good. Get over here, hurry! I was about to say, how did I not hit him? <laughs> ben, shut the heck up and get inside! Oh. Help! Oh. Gotcha, hang on! Gotcha and clamp. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, God. All right, well, that took care of things. Ooh, get freaking smoke, man. Call that a hard scope. <laughs> the aiming in this game is like atrocious. Got three. Hurry, come on! Cliff, get inside the RV. It's gonna be okay. Go! Oh! Oh Christ! <gasps> Fuck! Lily, get in the RV. Screw her. Let her stay. <laughs> Screw her. Oh my God. Push left, right on. What the fuck's going on here? Oh my god. Alright, good. Lily, last chance, get down here! crazy we defeated the bandits holy crap man sometimes this game everything starts off Jeez, so peacefully okay? and then i'm fine i'm fine oh shit oh shit oh shit i'm sorry everything's fine everything's ben. not fine we need to figure out how this happened we just lost everything well we're lucky as shit to have this rv and nobody died pat's head is split open i'm fine Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. You're in no position to make demands. Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Probably not the best time, Lily. Why her? This seems like a stab in the dark, Lily. She's always so eager to see what supplies we found. She never talks about her family. She could be related to those bastards for all we whoa, know. Whoa, my family's not a bunch of meth-riddled forest people. They're fucking Lutheran. You're not saying it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Like, look, maybe we should <laughs> vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay? Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now, then. Goddamn. Kitty, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out.
Penny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. Thing we should hear half. what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. I'm not doing this. Come on, Lee. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. Fuck all that. This is nuts. We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Ha, huh, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just... You think any of that is good now? Just let me stay, please. God, please. Stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence! Stop treating him like this! Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough out of you! Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute! Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you! Stop this! You're torturing him! No! Ben! Stop! Ah, this is about trust, and I've shit. never trusted you! Lily, lay off. I can't, Lee. You know I can't. Thank you, Lee. Please, listen to him. Please don't kick me out of the group. We won't. Tell me. Now. There. I got him. Please, let's just get back That's in the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt <laughs> you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Pick a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now. What the fuck's the problem? Drop it. Holy fuck. Penny, what's happening? You duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. What are we gonna do with her? Leave her for the walkers. Ben, Lee! Why? Why, Lily? I, I want to... get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. I want to see what she says in the Bad RV. Idea, Lee. That's why She's I'm bringing her in. a murderer her in. for shit's sake. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. <laughs> You know? What a yeah, bitch. Yeah, told me. I don't give a shit. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Whatever. Just get in. I just want to see what else we can get from her. Maybe I should have just fucking left her. <laughs> oh, we just left Carly's body. In the fucking road. I don't like that Lee didn't mourn over Carly or anything. Like, if he really didn't want to, you know, smash. You know, Lee liked her. Would have been nice if he would have mourned over her. You know? Lee, a word, <clears throat> please? What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? What the fuck happened during the raid? What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. So I'm going sad. to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Fuck, dude. That's anyway, so sad. If you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Fuck. <sighs> <sighs> okay. 
God damn. Is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I don't feel good. What about Carly? There's nothing to say. It's horrible. I'm sorry if no, I. No, you don't apologize. You had nothing to do with it, sweet pea. my tree house that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head <laughs> that's nice I didn't though thanks about that shit we got something up ahead <clears throat> oh my goodness dude <sighs> damn it roads blocked now we got to deal with this Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. <clears throat> this seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't want folks trapped in there with her. So just left her ass and straight fuck that. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clint, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? <sighs> Lee, if you come across anything to drink, hmm. uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Hadn't crossed my mind. This isn't when, when this game really starts kicking in. So fucking sad, man. This is when the group now starts going to shit. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will be back with more Walking Dead here soon on the channel. If you enjoyed it, one like for Duck. And thank you. I will catch you guys on the next one.